Okay, these are mixed mole problems, number two. All right, and again, show all your work, put a box around your answer. All right, these are a little bit different because they aren't just one-step problems, they are two-step problems. So let's look. What do I know? What is the mass of 5.83 times 10 to the 24 silver atoms? So I know atoms, and what do I want to know? What is the mass? I know atoms, I want mass. So atoms are located here, they are particles, and I want to know mass. Notice I can't go straight there, right? So what do I have to do? I'm going to have to go first from atoms to moles and then moles to mass. So it takes two trains to get there. So let's set up our train tracks. We're going to have two train tracks. One, two. So again, put what you know in your start box, right? In my start box, I know 5.83 times 10 to the 24th atoms kind of atoms, silver atoms, all right? So on that first train track, going from atoms to moles, it says put one mole over Avogadro's. So one mole over 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So that atoms to moles. Now I need to get from moles to mass. So it says I'm going to put molar mass on top, one mole on the bottom. Okay, one mole on the bottom, molar mass of what? Silver. So we need to look at silver on our periodic table. It says the mass of silver is 108. So that goes there, mass is in grams. All right, so looking at this, it's the same process. You always multiply across the top, divide by the bottom. But what happens right here? These cancel each other out, right? So I'm going to end up putting in you see that that light is on there. Let me turn that light on. Okay. So now I'm going to go 5.83 EE to the 24th times 108. And then I'm going to divide that by the bottom, which is Avogadro 6.02 EE to the 23rd. Control enter, and there's my answer. So I'm going to have 1,045.91 grams of silver because these atoms cancel out. I'll be left with grams. There's my answer. So these are the same way. What do I know? What do I want to know? So sometimes you'll be going from particles to liters or vice versa, or you'll be going mass to particles, but it's the same process. It just takes two train tracks to get there. Don't forget to solve for molar mass here. You can do these.